Welcome to Great Hymns of the Faith. My name is John Frazier. I'm your host. Great as always to have you with us today, folks. And let me share with you our first hymn today. It's a great hymn of praise, perhaps based on Philippians 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. The year was 1744 when Charles Wesley put pen to paper and came up with a hymn called Rejoice, the Lord is King. sung in a movie, a 1943 movie called The Human Comedy, starring Mickey Rooney. It was nominated for Academy Awards in five different categories. What was the name of the hymn? Well, let me tell you who it was by. The author was Elijah A. Hoffman, and the music was by Anthony J. Showalter. And the hymn is called Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a 
blessedness What a peace is mine Leaning on the everlasting arms Leaning, leaning Safe and secure from all alarms Leaning, leaning Leaning on the everlasting What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms I have blessed peace With my Lord so near Leaning on the everlasting arms Leaning, leaning Avis M. Christensen, in the year 1920, wrote the words of our next hymn at the request of Harry Lowe's, who had written the tune. So here you have the tune, then comes the words. I hope that you enjoy the hymn, Blessed Redeemer. In the Holy Scriptures, there are several accounts where Jesus reached out and touched someone who needed healing. One case, it was someone who was blind. Another case, well, it was someone who was struck with leprosy. There were several instances, and all it took to bring healing was the touch of the hand of Christ. Our next hymn is called, There's Healing. There's a mystery in the cross that only faith reveals. 
us that the blood that Jesus shed redeemed our souls and the stripes upon his back his wounded feet and hands still call to those who long to be made whole There's The touch of Jesus hands. Jesus hand. There's healing in the scars of Calvary's land. He knows your hurts, your pain.
there is healing in the touch of Jesus' hand. And I suspect that some of you who are listening to our program today have experienced that healing as well. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Now, let's turn to a hymn that you first sung perhaps as a little child in Sunday school. It's called Jesus Loves Me. the words as well as the music were composed by Clara H. Scott, the year 1895. Some hymnals incorrectly give the author as Charles Scott, and some hymnals append additional verses by Fred P. Morris. Interesting. The hymn, Open My Eyes That I May See. Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Place in my hands the wonderful key that shall unclasp and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee, ready my God I will to see. Open my eyes, Ready, my God, 
She lived to the grand age of 95, and during her many years, she composed over 6,000 hymns. Her name, of course, is Fanny Crosby. She composed the words to our next hymn called, I am thine, O Lord. Here's a parting prayer, we might say, a benediction for all our listeners today. It's called, May God Be With You. 
That's all the programming time that we have for today, folks, and I do trust that you enjoy the hymns that I was able to share with you, and as I've mentioned to you before, if you have a favorite hymn that you haven't heard for a while, please drop me a note, an email, doulos, that's D-O-U-L-O-S R-E-V at gmail.com, or you can send a note in the regular postal system. Pastor John Frazier, 4072 River Crest Circle, all separate words, Leesburg, L E E S B U R G, Florida, zip 34748, right here in Florida, and I'll do my best to get it on the air for you. So, God bless. Have a great week ahead. Bye for now. <music>